So, I'm hoping all of you know what is meant by a MAC address. It's okay if you don't know the full form of MAC. You just need to know what it is and where it is used. Here is a brief description about MAC addresses. Every computer that has the ability to connect to a network has a network interface card, which has a unique hard-coded MAC address. This MAC address is used to identify, I mean uniquely identify a computer in a network. Now you might ask, why can't computers in a network be identified using their IP addresses? Well, that's because IP addresses may change from time to time, whereas MAC addresses don't. Now, there are many reasons for why one wants to change their MAC address. For example, if you want to connect to a Wi-Fi network at a public place, anyone who is in the reachable region around you can simply read your MAC address. They can then spoof your MAC address as their MAC address and thus they can impersonate you on any network. To avoid this, you may want to change your MAC address to a temporary one and then use it to connect to networks. Another reason for changing a MAC address is to bypass MAC filtering. So many organizations like for example my university has an enterprise network which only selected users have permissions to connect. In order to connect to this network, one must have their MAC address registered in the database of allowed devices by the admin of that network. So, only the devices with the MAC addresses that are in the database of allowed devices can connect to this network. This is called MAC filtering. So, to bypass this, one can simply get the MAC address of an already registered device and then spoof that MAC address on that device, thus getting the connection to the network. So, whatever the reason is, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your MAC address. This video is sponsored by Amersoft. They have this really cool tool named iMusic and if you are a music lover then you must have this tool on your device. It has got a lot of tools like to transfer iOS or Android music to iTunes and also to transfer iTunes playlists to your Android or iOS device. You can also burn music to a CD or transfer your playlists to a USB so that you can play your list on your car while you're traveling. And my favorite feature of this tool is that you can directly record music from your computer while you're listening to it so that you don't need to download the music later. And iMusic will automatically gather all the information about that particular song or music once you are done recording it. So go check it out. I will leave the link to it in the description below. On your Windows computer, open your start menu and type in cmd to open your command prompt and in your command prompt you can type in get mac and hit enter and this will show you your current mac address. This is my current mac address which by default is hard coded on my network interface card. Now in order to change this, hold windows r together and a run dialog box appears on your screen like this. In here type in regedit. Sorry, it's actually regedit, which stands for registry editor and click OK. And this will bring up your registry editor like this. Over here, expand hd underscore local underscore machine and come down to system and expand system and then expand control set 001 and then expand control and expand class. And you can see here there are lots of folders. Uh, I mean below this class folder. So over here you have to expand one particular folder that that goes like yeah that goes like 4D36E972. So this is the particular folder that you need to expand. So expand it. So once you expand it you can see a lot of other subfolders and so now what you need to do is first click on the first folder and then you can see some some values here. Now you have to search for a value which says net cfg instance id. So here is the value which says net cfg instance id and you have to uh, you know check this data data value here which which says 6f60dd66 blah 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 and you have to see if uh, you have to see if this value over here 
matches with the netcfg instance id so you can see that my original values is 2b5a2d00 but here it says 6f60dd66 so it doesn't match so if it doesn't match switch to the next subfolder in my case it is 0001 just click on it and you can see values again so once again search search for netcfg instance id so there we go here is my netcfg instance id once again compare this value with our value on the command prompt so 2b5a2d00 so yep uh, these both are matching so if these both match then it means we are in the correct subfolder so now what you need to do is right click anywhere in this window and select new and select string value and you need to name this string value as network address and hit enter that's going to create a new string value now double click on the newly created string value and in this value data text field you need to enter your your mac address which you want to newly assign to your computer so for example let me type in a mac address over here 3e so don't include any semicolons or any uh, any other characters in this just type in the mac address the 12 character mac address so i'm just typing in it typing it in 3e a 0 6 7 9 so there we go I am going to change my MAC address to this MAC address and also please note that while you are giving a new MAC address over here always make sure that this second character over here is always a 0 or a 2 or A or E so if you give any character other than 0 or 2 or A or E it doesn't work your MAC address will not be changed so always make sure that the second character is either a 0 or a A or a 2 or a E alright so once you are done entering your new MAC address just click OK and now you can you can just close this registry editor but then you have to go to control panel and then click on network and internet and click on network and sharing center and over here click on change adapter settings and you have to first disable your Wi-Fi right click and select disable and that's going to disable your uh, Wi-Fi and once it is disabled click on enable and let it get enabled again there we go the Wi-Fi is enabled again now let me open my command prompt and type in get Mac again to see what my Mac address is right now so get Mac and there we go my Mac address has been changed to this newly assigned Mac address my old MAC address is changed to this MAC address which I have specified in my registry editor. So that's how you change your MAC address in Windows computer. To change the MAC address on your Mac OS computer, just open your terminal and type in ifconfig and this will show you all the interfaces available on your computer along with their, uh, with their respective MAC addresses. So I'm using the EN0 interface to connect to the network and I can see my MAC address uh, here, right here, just beside Ether, I can see my MAC address, my initial MAC address. Now I'm going to show you how to change this MAC address. So I'll just clear the screen, and in order to change your MAC address, just type in sudo space if con config space the name of your interface. In my case, it's en0 as you have just seen, and then followed by Ether followed by the new MAC address that you want to assign to your computer. So I'm going to, I'm going to, you know put this MAC address as my new MAC address so I'll just copy it and I'll paste it in this command and hit enter and that's obviously going to ask you for a password because you have typed in sudo in the command so just type in your password and that's it your MAC address is now changed and in order to confirm if your MAC address is changed or not just type in ifconfig and there we go this is the changed MAC address and we have changed the MAC address for this particular interface name EN0 and the MAC address is successfully changed. So that's how you change your MAC address on a Mac OS computer. So thanks for watching this video, hope you like this video and if you like this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up below and if you don't like it you can leave a thumbs down below you are free to do that as well and comment down below what you think about the video. I'll meet you in the next one. Thanks for watching once again. Cheers.